What's up guys, it's Mia Donoto. I'm here at Teens Wanna Know to answer some fan questions. Let's get started. Okay, the first question is from Zoe Bahina. It is, what is your favorite show? My favorite show is The Office. I love that show, it's super funny. I also really, really like Game of Thrones. It is such a great show. There is so much stuff and like plot twists and I love that show too, so probably between those two. The next question is from Spreading the Love 101. If you can collaborate with anyone on YouTube, who would it be? I would want to collaborate with David Dobrik. His vlogs are a lot of fun. Ryan Trahan. He has such creative ideas and I would love to collaborate with him. Oh, and Danny Gonzalez. I love his videos, they are hilarious. So probably any of those three. Okay, this is from musiclover.19. What's your favorite thing about working with Brat and how have you dealt with OCD? P.S. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I just love being in front of the camera. That's what I like about it. <laughs> and how have I dealt with OCD? Well, it's just so hard because I'm still de dealing with it. I don't know how to give the best advice because right now I'm still going through it. So it's like, just my number one advice is to talk to your family about it. And if your family isn't there, if you have like a best friend, then yeah. This one is from Sophie Maria Official. What's your advice to young actors dealing with rejection? Ooh, so <laughs> I don't know because I deal with a lot of rejection. I mean, if you're an actor, you're gonna get a lot of rejections no matter who you are. The guy that plays the Hulk from Marvel, what's his name? Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark, Mark Ruffalo. I was told that he did like hundreds and hundreds of auditions and didn't book anything. And he was like about to quit. And then he booked like something really big and then it launched his career and now he's on Marvel. Sophie Maria official, how do you deal with social media hate? You gotta ignore it even though it's really, really hard. This next question is from A.95SA. When will you graduate from high school? I don't know, <laughs> what's the thing? 2022, but I'm getting ready to take the chess P test, which is like, you like graduate high school and stuff. So like maybe hopefully at the end of the year, hopefully I pass, might not, but no, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. Alex.ready62, how do you deal with insecurities? My big insecurity is like my body image, like thinking like, oh, I'm fat, or I'm like this, I'm that, this isn't good enough, my arms are too flabby, my legs, this, that. I wish I looked like these girls on Instagram that are super skinny and like blah, blah, blah. And like when I'm trying on clothes, it's like, I'm just like, no, this doesn't look good. Like, and I spend like hours like before I go somewhere, like, oh, this doesn't look good, this doesn't look good, ah, oh, I look so fat and ugly. Just like don't look at yourself in the mirror and obsess about what you look. Just like put something on, take, take a glance at the mirror, be like, it's fine. Like honestly, no one's looking at you. No one's like, oh my God, look at her. Like that outfit isn't that good. Like no, everyone's thinking about themselves. Literally no one cares what you wear. So that's something I just try to tell myself. This is from you mama 553 What do you think about often? Food. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> C. Sierra Marie. How do you start out with a big dream? Like, I have no idea where to begin. Come through, Mia, we need you. <laughs> so if you're starting out with a big dream and you honestly like really, really wanna do it, you're like, this is what I wanna do with my life, I'm gonna do it. And it's like a dream, it's not just like a, like a, oh yeah, I wanna do this, that would be cool. Like a dream that you are determined and dedicated. Write a list, like write, for number one, like the first step what you're gonna do. The first step I did for my dream for acting was take acting lessons. The second one was like, get good at acting. <laughs> like, get it and like really understand it. And then like go to, um, the next step was like go to Los Angeles and like meet up with agents and managers. And then the third step was like come out for pilot season. And th there's like so many more teeny steps in between those steps. But make a list, do pros and cons. Um, that really helps. Mad Dog 40, 111. Will you ever do an aerial tutorial? Yes, I did a long time ago when like the Instagram, you could only post like 15 second videos. So it was like really fast. It was like 
first do this, then do that, then do that. It was like so quick, everyone was like, ah! <laughs> but I am going to do an updated version on my YouTube channel, Chloe underscore McKinnis7. What's your favorite movie? Recently, I have not seen a good movie. Like, every movie I've seen recently, I've been like, wow, that just wasted like hours of my life. I'm glad I watched that. I've not seen a good movie in a long time, so comment suggestions if you have any. Ellie underscore Beck underscore. Do you have any big projects coming up in the future? I do have some exciting things coming up. Not like super like big, like she's on like a blockbuster movie, but like, yeah, still like big and like exciting news. Um, my short film, Light in the Attic, is coming out soon. It's a horror film. It is gonna go to like a horror film fest. Vanessa Wagler. Are there any near death experiences that you have had? Fortunately, no, not yet. And I'm hoping there's none soon. Kimberly Rob 24. What are some of the biggest problems you have faced and how did you overcome them? The biggest, biggest problems I had to overcome are me losing my dogs, like them passing away. It is the hardest thing ever. If you guys know me and you guys are like subscribed to me or you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know how much I love my dogs. My dogs are my family. They are my best friends. I, my favorite number is seven because I've had seven dogs. Like I have pictures of my dogs in my rooms. Like my dogs are my everything. I love them so much. I've lost three so far in my life, technically four so far in my life. It is the hardest thing ever. It's a, like, look, look at my locket. I wear this all the time. Pictures of my dogs. I don't know if, I don't know if you can see that, but I love my dogs, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, so losing my dogs is definitely the hardest. What helps me overcome that? Well, for the losing my dogs, my other dogs help me. Me knowing that like my dogs are there for me and knowing that my dogs that just passed away are in heaven and God's with them. It helps, but it still like doesn't. It's like, wow, I know they're in a good place, but I'm selfish and I just want them here with me. So over time, it'll get easier. Death is a part of life, unfortunately, but there is another part of life even better coming. So yeah, <laughs> we're all gonna die. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Party. <laughs> I will shine 2005. Would you ever do singing? The only reason I would start singing is for acting. If it's like a musical -y thing or you have to sing, then I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna get my voice good and that's the only way I would wanna sing. Diana Dot Spellick, do you have a crush? Yes, but I'm not gonna say because if you found out, then that would be like really weird and like, it's like, like, ew, like get away from me, stalker. <laughs> so. Have you ever considered going back to gymnastics? I have not. Um, I do miss it and I do want to go back to just like do it for fun. Like go on the bars, go on the beam, go on the floor and fall and like do it for fun. But I've never considered going back to like compete. Um, I honestly don't miss it at all. I just miss doing like the skills. I don't miss going to practice for eight hours like every day of my life. I don't miss that. Peyton underscore Noga. This is my roommate. <laughs> um, what inspired you to start acting? I just always wanted to do it. Literally nothing inspired me. I'm just like, ever since I was little, I, was, I saw people on TV and I'm like, I wanna do that. Okay, the last one from Spa Milk is, how are you today? I'm pretty good. <laughs> I think that's a good one to leave off on. So thank you, Spa Milk. Love the username. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun here at Teens Wanna Know. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of this kind of stuff from other people, then make sure to subscribe. If you wanna follow me, my YouTube is Mia Donoto, my Instagram is Mia underscore Donoto, and my TikTok is Mia Donoto underscore. Thanks for watching, bye.